Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. As you can see, I have a print that just finished printing on my P800. This is done on canvas, roll canvas that I have loaded right now. It is from Breathing Color. They specialize on many, many gorgeous fine art media. Again, I have tried a few of them. This particular canvas was offered to me as a 10 foot roll and so basically I took it and um, testing it out. I was able to simply print using the ICC profile for Epson canvas, the matte canvas. They also have a satin setting as well for those canvases that have a slight sheen. Well, right now I either have a choice to go ahead and press that cut button. It will then print a cut line eject the media further out and I'll be able to then cut it with a pair of scissors. Of course, the P800 does not have a proper paper cutter. It is not really that fancy. That's only reserved for your floor models, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use my scissors here and see if I can do the best I can. Again, these are not the best in the world, but they, they will do the job. I have another image loaded, ready to go. I'm gonna go over to the computer and I'll take you through the steps that I went through to prepare the image, nothing fancy. I just wanna show you the settings that I use in Q Image to print this. I prepared it in Lightroom and then I exported it out to Q Image. You guys know that I love printing out of Q Image. It allows me to do the export or output sharpening a lot better than Lightroom could possibly do. Now this is gorgeous. Now I would let this fully dry and then I would go ahead and varnish it before I have it mounted. But again, like I said, we'll just go ahead and stop right now and uh, go over to the computer. All right, folks, we are here in Lightroom and now I have the image that I am going to print open. I'm gonna go ahead and go to File, Plugin Extras, in Q Image Ultimate. And this will simply export it out to Q Image. And as you can see, we are now viewing the same image except inside Q Image, which I prefer to use for all my printing. So what I have done is basically added some deep focus sharpening. If you want to check that out, there are videos on the Q Image site that explain that. Basically, it's simply an output sharpening algorithm that it uses. That simply is just superior. And you double click on the image and then choose an amount here on DFS. I chose a radius of two and an amount of 100. And then we're gonna go ahead and simply print it by choosing 17 by 22, canvas matte, Epson SureColor P800. We're letting the printer handle color. We're gonna go ahead and open up the driver. Check our settings once again. We have ICM chosen as the mode because we are letting the driver control color is going to apply the Epson canvas matte profile. That's all we need to do at this point. Okay. And hit print. All right. It is already printing. You should be able to see it emerge within a couple of minutes. Right now, all I am doing is just simply testing this media just to see if it lives up to all of the hype. Again, it was an offer that was given to me in just kind of a tryout. And I would have loved to make a profile first, but um, yeah, this media is very finicky as far as the loading goes. It took me several attempts to get it loaded and uh, finally did get it loading successfully. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there and I'm gonna be printing quite a few canvases until I use up my whole 10 feet. I Went through a couple of feet of it, just messing around at first. And so we'll go ahead and play with it just to see what we get. Let me extend the feed tray out a little bit more. And there we go, it is coming out. It's going to have uh, a leading edge when you print on the P800 using banner mode. It's gonna waste a couple of inches of paper every time. So keep that in mind, unless you continually print using banner mode, then it will just simply give you enough space for you to cut through and get your borders. In other words, it's not going to really add any more extra space, if you will. 
So here we go. It is emerging, and I think it's going to look beautiful. Yep. Again, um, I am not a huge Canvas user. As you may know, you really haven't seen practically zero videos of me printing on Canvas. But I think this might be something that I might enjoy using. Yeah, that is quite nice. And again, I wish I could find an ICC profile for it. I did look. They use a naming convention that's a little bit odd. And so I really could not find something that I could, you know, just say, oh, this is a perfect match for this canvas. It was a good try anyway. Be aware, this is not a super high resolution image. This was sent to me by a viewer. And so there's a little bit of compression artifact right here. You can see the uh, banding taking place in the sky. That happens when you over compress an image. And basically they were emailing it to me. And so they wanted to keep it small. So I just want to see how this will print on a high quality canvas such as this, and so far so good. And again, nothing fancy here. Of course, I could actually create black borders so that I can then fold them over the stretcher bars and have a nice black edge. But again, I'm just playing around here, just trying to experiment with this type of media. And again, I am not a canvas expert. Never really uh, used it, you know, thoroughly. This will probably be my fifth or sixth time that I've actually printed on canvas. Really not my cup of tea. But again, I could see its uses. I know artists that print on canvas and then they go over with a clear gel type acrylic that simulates brush strokes. And so that kind of adds that look, I guess, to the finished product. You can also use software that turns an image into a work of art. In other words, it actually literally adds brush strokes. I've done that. I got a couple of images that I would love to print on this. And I think I just might do that. The image of my um, shot of the outdoor cafe in Annapolis, Maryland. I think that will print beautifully on this. So once I get that done... I would probably go ahead and mount it on masonite and just buy a real frame and then, you know, attach it to it. I don't like uh, free hanging uh, type of canvas wraps. I like the old fashioned look. I'm kind of old school that way. Well, so far so good. Again, you can really tell that this is a low resolution image, but nevertheless, it did produce a very nice result. It's a little bit damp, so I think it actually lays down quite a bit of ink. I'm going to go ahead and expand it. Beyond the edge, here's my cut line. So I will go ahead and cut that off, but not on camera. I'll let you guys go for now. The next time you see me doing this kind of work, it'll be with the image that I told you about earlier, the one that I did, and I turned it into a work of art, in other words, a painting. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.